right now from today's TMJ4. This is Live at Noon. This man, a fugitive, was holed up in a downtown high-rise. Late Tuesday, he slipped out from under the eye of U.S. Marshals and Milwaukee police officers, and now he's on the loose. Imagine coming home to find your apartment complex surrounded by police. Well, that's what folks who live at the Juno complex had to deal with, and now they're telling our Nick Montez they have a lot of questions about their safety. Residents tell me it was pretty frightening to see the squad cars and hear that a fugitive was on the loose at their complex. The U.S. Marshals is still looking for that man. Residents at Juno Village Towers have more questions and answers right now. After U.S. Marshals stormed their complex looking for this man, Johnny Lopez. I was wondering how he got into the building, if he knew somebody in the building, or if he snuck into the building. Beverly Gearing lives in the building next to where the Marshals and police stormed in. There were two that had long silver instruments. I don't know if those were guns or what they were. The rest were not carrying anything. Marshals hope to take Lopez into custody Tuesday night. He's wanted for a federal weapons offense, but was released on bail. They believe during that time he committed an armed robbery. How dangerous is this man? Obviously, fairly uh, dangerous, just given how desperate he was to uh, get away. Most people don't. Try to climb out seven stories. The marshals are still looking into how Lopez went from a seventh floor balcony and worked his way down to the third floor. Several marshals were looking for him. U.S. Marshals tell us that Lopez tried to force his way into an apartment but had the door shut on his face. Well, it's it's kind of scary, you know, coming home and thinking, you know, there's a fugitive running loose. Now, we did try and speak to the management team here, but uh, they declined to comment on Milwaukee's east side. Nick Montez, today's TMJ4. All right, Nick, thank you. U.S. Marshals told us they have been working 24 hours straight on this case and believe Lopez will be in their custody again soon. If you have seen them, you're asked to call the U.S. Marshals office immediately.